Welcome to the Dignity Leadership Learning Lab. I'm Leadership Leah, the Chief Education Officer, and this is my esteemed and very excited colleague, Leadership Leo, the Chief Instructional Officer. We are on a mission to take you from being a management monster to a leadership ace. If Rich can do it, so can you. Ready to launch in three, two, one. In this module, you will learn the origins of behavioral studies, the people who influence the modern day DISC assessment, the four personalities associated with DISC, and who can use DISC. Diving back into history, around the year 370 BC, philosopher Hippocrates developed the earliest known form of behavioral study through his concept of differing temperaments. Just like the modern day DISC assessment being used now, Hippocrates also had four categories for behavioral types on two different axes. Moving to a more modern example, Carl Jung further formulated the templates for four psychological functions with his 1921 published study, Psychological Types. This is where we begin to see observable behavior transitions into a true science. Then we come to William Moulton Martson, a Harvard-educated PhD. Martson spent the majority of his adult years as a teacher and consulting psychologist. He was also a contributing writer to the American Journal Psychology, Encyclopedia Britannica, and the Encyclopedia of Psychology. He even found the time to create the superhero Wonder Woman. Martson is best known for his creation of the systolic blood pressure test, a precursor to the modern day polygraph machine. He created this test in 1915 and first tested it in 1921 on criminals in Texas prisons. His test for deception was 97% accurate, a significant achievement at the time and was among the many contributions to society. Martson may be most well known for his work on the polygraph, but he also had a connection with the DISC model of behavior. Marston's work in psychology was focused on looking at human behavior from a physiological perspective. He saw that people tended to behave differently based on how they perceive their environment. In 1928, he published Emotions of Normal People, which outlined his theories about people's tendency to behave either passively or actively depending on their perception of the environment and the situations around them. He held that our behavior is influenced by our perception of our environment. This can be broken down into what he called dominance and submission, or active and passive behaviors. Hey, are you ready to take a closer look at the DISC model? In the next section, Lee is going to talk about how the DISC model provides a framework for understanding how people operate. Take it away, Leah. Everyone is different, right? But the cool thing is that everyone in the world is predictably different. Human behavior can be predicted. One can easily predict how a person will act or react in a given situation by just knowing his or her behavior styles. Using the DISC model, people only have four types of behavior, the dominant or the D style, the influencer or I style, the steady or the S style, and the compliance or the C style. Let's take a look at each of the behavior to better understand the model. The D stands for dominance. This is how you approach and respond to problems and challenges. The higher the D score, the more aggressively you take on the challenge. The lower D is more reflective when it comes to problems and challenge. The I of DISC stands for influence. The I is all about collecting contacts. They often see strangers as friends they haven't met yet. It also reflects how they attempt to influence people to their point of view. A higher eye is more optimistic and trusting, where the lower eye may behave in a more realistic and pessimistic manner. The S represents steadiness. This is a reflection of your consistency and how you respond to the pace of the environment. The high S wants a more predictable environment where they can finish what they start, while the lower S will want a faster paced environment. And finally, C stands for compliance. This is how you respond to constraints and procedures set by others. The high C tends to follow the rule, while the lower C tends to question the rules. I am willing to bet most of you will see at least some reflection of yourselves within the four parts of the DISC model. 
many people have a combination of two pieces of the model that make up the core of their behavioral preferences, while others just have one prominent behavior, yet others may have three. There are countless combinations of behavior types that are derived from the model. Everyone has all four. We just use them very differently. This is what is so cool about DISC. We all have similarities, yet each one of us is vastly different. To learn more about each of the four personality types in the DISC model, please visit the Dignity Leadership Lab Library where you found this course. But don't go do that now. Leo has a few more things to cover. Leo? Thanks, Leah. DISC is a tool that can be used at every level of an organization. The assessment measures an individual's responses, but those responses can be mapped. DISC is effective for individuals, small groups, large teams, and even entire organizations. Organizations around the world have used DISC assessments to minimize unnecessary conflict, increase productivity and engagement, enhance communication, maximize their strengths, and develop self-awareness. The team at Dignity Leadership can use the DISC assessment to compare two individuals. This helps share their similarities, highlight their differences, and run through ways they can both communicate better with each other. This report is a game changer for teams with different communication styles. The team report is similar to the comparison report, but includes three or more individuals in its findings. The Dignity Leadership team believes that team reports are a great way for an entire team or department to learn more about each other and get a better sense of their strengths and weaknesses as a unit. Team reports help groups in a number of ways. For example, they find communication gaps, help gain higher productivity on projects, aid in smoother internal communication, develop a better dynamics of the team, and increase overall team effectiveness and productivity. DISC is a foundational assessment tool for all of Dignity Leadership's coaching. It's an excellent starting point and an introduction to the science of self-awareness, a core value to leadership. DISC is an easy concept for most people to comprehend and apply right away. If you're looking for quick results, DISC is the assessment for you. Use DISC to support coaching, team building, training, and leadership development. The possibilities for DISC are endless.